Howdy folks, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. You ready for a quick video? How does four minutes and 10 seconds sound? Anyway, I went to this manufacturing show the other day in Orlando called Design to Part. And I flew my plane over there and I brought my buddy with me. Yes, this guy. <laughs> it was an uneventful flight. And the beauty of going from Tampa to Orlando by air is that it takes about 25 minutes. Whereas if you drove there, it could easily be an hour and a half or more. And you're going to be hating life because the traffic sucks. So we caught an Uber from the airport to the show and spent the first, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes being lost. The Orlando Convention Center is freaking huge. But the show itself isn't that big. And that's a good thing. If you've ever been to IMTS in Chicago, it's nothing like that. I mean, you can walk this entire show in three hours. I saw a lot of really great stuff and uh, made a lot of good contacts. And uh, uh, by the way, I'm not getting paid by these guys. I just, uh, I'm a manufacturing geek. So I love shows like this because, you know, how else are you going to keep up on technology? Yeah, I mean, you can look at videos and stuff going on the internet. But this is a really concentrated look at a whole bunch of different manufacturing technologies all under one roof. You can cover it in a few hours. And there's even someone to answer your questions. Well, as long as it's not too technical. Unless, you know, sometimes they have engineers at the booth, not just salesmen. So here I was, all fat, dumb, and happy until I stumbled across this in a booth. So what the hell is it? I mean, obviously it's supposed to be a bolt for a rifle, but it just makes no sense at all. It basically has five lugs, and the back side of the lugs are cut to a crazy helical angle. It's got a big shell pocket, so obviously for a large caliber, but it's got two helical cutouts for a, for a cam pin, a cam pin grooves. It's got two of them, and then there, it, that just makes no sense either. There's so much about this that makes no sense. I'm kind of thinking that this is just one of those things they show off their nine-axis machines or whatever uh, just to make a sample part. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Real part, sample part. The latest and greatest thing from High Point? A mystery for sure. So the show ended. We went to the famous Linda's La Cantina Steakhouse with my buddy Nerd Oscar and had a fantastic steak dinner. Then we flew back to Tampa and the end. Okay, not quite. It was, it was a little more than that. And this is actually a flight I took a couple days later down to La Belle, a little tiny airport in the middle of nowhere. If you read the description, like I know everyone does, you'll see that I have a couple of announcements. First one is I'm starting a flying channel for my fellow aviation geeks. Uh, you don't have to be an aviation geek. You learn some interesting stuff because I'll, I'll be doing interesting stuff over there. And some of you like watching me anyway, right? Remember, uh, what was it with the army man and the, I don't know. Second announcement is that we're hiring a CNC machinist at Serbu Firearms. Dream job, nightmare, you decide. Got a friend who's a badass CNC machinist. Actually, we're looking for someone with just a minimum of a couple of years experience, but we'll consider whatever, you know. A lot of our stuff is kind of cookie cutter, but we do some pretty interesting R&D stuff here and there. So see the link in the description for how to apply for that job. Well, thanks for spending four minutes and 10 seconds of your day with me. I really appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Keep it going. I'll get to a million by the time I'm 80. Have a good one, folks.